Hello everybody. Today I would like to talk about the second part of the Rhino to SolidWorks downstreaming series. Okay. In the first part, we talk about how to create a SolidWorks part object from Rhino pieces. In this uh, second video, we will talk about how to create assemblies from the parts that has been created. Okay, let's start. To begin, go to File, New and select assembly okay as we already created the parts right we can proceed on to assemble the parts okay so select assembly click okay and bring in the first object to be assembled okay cat top right okay it's the first one before we proceed i want to talk about the general workflow okay the general workflow for assembly is uh, such, okay, create the assembly file and this entails bringing the first uh, part then followed by insert component to bring in the second part and followed by mating the parts, okay and once uh, these two first part has been mated successfully we, we repeat the process of insert component and mating parts until the full assembly has been formed Okay, so now let's head back to the SOLIDWORKS environment. So we have brought in the first part. So let's use the insert component to bring in the second part. So I want to bring in the cat top left. Okay. Once I've done that, we can proceed to do the mate. Okay. So uh, generally speaking, uh, three mate um, is required to do uh, a successful alignment of two parts, okay, a pair of uh, parts, okay. So um, let's click the mate, and you can see once you click mate, uh, you can you're able to see this this uh, history as well. So <coughs> what I want to do is I uh, do a concentric uh, mate. That means I'll use the cylindrical. Uh, portion over here to mate with the other cylindrical portion over here okay so let's uh, zoom in over here so uh, do the cylind uh, concentric mate okay so I'm going to select let's say here okay and then select its corresponding mating surface which is uh, this part over here okay so I can see this is now uh, aligned okay so I can click on uh, this uh, Okay, to execute the first mate. Okay, now we want to do the second mate. Okay, the second for the second mate, I want to use the this uh, face here to align with this other flat face. For that, I can use the distant mate. Okay, so I can click the distant. Maybe set the value to zero. Okay, and select the this face. Okay. This face will meet with the corresponding face over here. This one. Okay, so click OK. You cannot see it. So let's uh, like zoom, zoom to fit. Yeah, you can see now. Uh, they has been uh, mated. So we have two, two mates. Uh, but over here uh, at the bottom right, it says undefined. So we might need uh, one more mate to to co complete uh, this okay so um, let's uh, let me just show uh, a way of uh, using the planes to make uh, the plane mating might not be the most uh, realistic of mating okay but uh, nevertheless I want to show that it's possible to uh, make using uh, planes okay so I want to turn this on Okay, it's a bit laggy so uh please uh bear with it okay so uh now i want to use um the parallel mate okay so click the parallel so i want the right plane of the catapult right the first object right the right right plane here to be parallel to the right plane of the catapult left okay okay then uh, let's click the okay Good. 
okay you can see now it says are uh, fully defined okay yeah so we, with that um we have uh successfully mated two two piece okay you can proceed to add the other uh, piece by going to insert component and mate but i don't think i want to repeat the same process again so uh that's it for this uh demo hope that's been useful to you see you around bye